For more than 200 million Americans who have employer-based health insurance or buy their coverage through the federal marketplace, it's time to pick your plan for next year. But what type of insurance should you choose during open enrollment, and how can you save money? You know who's here. Our senior personal finance correspondent, Sharon Epperson, joins us with some answers. It's always great to see you, Sharon. Great to be here, Sue. All right, so I was looking through some of this. It's, it literally is an alphabet soup. There's a PPO, an HMO, and one I had never heard of, an HDHP. So what do people have to know about all these plans? Well, the first thing that you have to know is know when the open enrollment starts, November 1st for the federal marketplace, and for many companies, the beginning of November as well. Then know what these stand for. HMO is a health maintenance organization. Know that that is something that's going to, you'll pay less probably out of pocket, but you have to stay in that network. Mm -hmm. And so that's more constricting. The PPO, which many employers uh, offer and many people get in their employer plan, will have a higher deductible, higher premium, but more flexibility. You may not have to declare a primary care physician. Mm -hmm. A health, um, a high deductible health plan is increasingly in pop increasing in popularity, and that is key if you can afford to pay that high deductible and also if you want a health savings account attached to it. Okay, so now that we know what all of those things stand for, what's the first step? in open enrollment, in approaching it? Well, the first step in approaching is kind of understanding what health insurance needs are and what health insurance is. And unfortunately, many people don't know that. A new report just out from Policy Genius, which is an online insurance marketplace, mm -hmm. found that one in four people avoided care or treatment because they were unsure of their coverage. Many of these people already health, have health insurance, but they're still not sure what it's covering. 29%, only that number was able to correctly identify what a premium is, what a deductible is, what a copay is. These are the key expenses that are involved with your health insurance, and you need to know what they are and what you're paying for. All right, we went over some of the plans. You mentioned a health savings account, and what's, what's the difference between a health savings account and what's called an FSA? These are two ways that you can save money for your health care expenses. And it's important to know that with a health savings account, you again must be enrolled in a high deductible health plan to do, it, to do it. Also know that any money that you put into that will roll over year to year. So it can be an investment opportunity. You can invest that money. It's portable. It is yours. The difference between that and a flexible spending account, mm -hmm. a flexible spending account is only really offered through your employer. So if you're getting coverage through the individual marketplace, you can't get an FSA. The other thing to keep in mind is, it. is that it's not portable. It's not an investment option for that one. And if you don't use it that particular year um, or by the grace period, you're going to lose that money. Oh, so that is good to know. That's important to know. All right, when open enrollment comes, you're sitting at my desk. We're going through it together. Thank you, Sharon. Just review it. You just got to review it. Absolutely. Sharon Epperson. Sure.